Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to stop the screen flickering on your PlayStation 4. Now, the first thing you want to do is try unplugging your HDMI cable from the back of the PlayStation 4 and the TV, or find a new HDMI cable and plug it in. Many times, this is the issue why it's flickering on your screen. Now, if that doesn't work, go up to settings on your PlayStation, select this, and scroll on down to sound and screen. Then go to the video output settings. Then under here, the most common one that causes the problem is the deep color output right here. Switch this from automatic and go to off and see if that stops your screen flickering. Then also you can go to HDR and try turning this off, see if the screen flickering stops, as well as the RGB range. Go to limited or full, and then you can try dropping down the resolution. But most of the time I see the issue is resolved when you turn off the deep color output. Another thing that we can do is back out of here and then go to where it says system and then try enabling or disabling HDCP. And this will be your copyright protection. So try turning this off as well. Now, if you are getting like a black screen or something like that on your PlayStation or the screen or image doesn't appear, we want to turn off our PlayStation 4. We can hold down the power button right here. We will hear one beep and then we will hear another beep like five to 10 seconds later. So this will completely turn it off. Then plug in your controller with a USB cable, just like this. And we will need this plugged in to operate the safe mode menu. So wait for your PlayStation 4 to completely turn off. Then hold down the power button again, and you will hear one beep. And then five to 10 seconds later, you will hear another beep. And your PS4 will launch into the safe mode menus. So I heard the second beep, we can let go. Now on your screen, it should say, press the PS button to operate the safe mode menu. So let's press this and we should be able to see a screen that's given us seven different options now. So under here, we go to change resolution and restart our PlayStation 4 and it will give us different options for the resolution. So if you aren't seeing anything on the screen, come to here. Another thing that we could try is going to rebuild database on our PlayStation 5. It says it may take a few hours, but my experience only takes like five minutes. So if there's just any kind of corrupted data on your PlayStation, this should fix it. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.